All right, this is going to be a good video. It's going to be an awesome video because there's so many features packed into this in Ultra Range Plus router from Linksys. Now, first off, it's wireless in. You got little rubber feet there. That's why it's grabbing the ground. And, yeah, it's kind of hard to move around, which is a good thing. Now, uh, take a look at the front here. It shows you all the different connections and that sort of thing. So if you, there's a broken link, you know, like, oh, that, that, that part of the link's broken, or this one's broken, or, or this is not working. It tells you everything that's connected. It tells you your security's enabled. Uh, yeah, there's USB. All right, let me just go through it. There's a million awesome features in this. Now, like I said, wireless in, that's 300 megabits per second. It's fast. It's also MIMO, multiple ins and multiple outs. There, I found MIMO. Right here he is in these antennas. Now, having a MIMO router uh, means that you're always going to get fast connection speeds and it's going to remove all those dead spots because with uh, um, regular wireless G or whatever, uh, you get 54 megabits per second, which is much slower than this. And uh, also there's dead spots because it's only one signal. If you've got a, a corner or something like that and the signal just doesn't get there, well, dead spot. With this one, multiple ins, multiple outs, the signal is going to cover way more. It's going to cover more of those corners, more of the areas where you don't get signal. And also one little tip, I'm giving you guys a free tip here. Put the router as high as possible. Put it up on top of a shelf. That's going to help the signal uh, reach further. And one thing that people don't know, they, they see all the pictures, and the pictures always have the antennas, and they're always going da 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 like that. Well, the uh, signals don't actually go up like that. The signals from wireless routers descend. Like, like that. They descend. So the higher you put this, the better the signal is going to be, and the further it's going to reach. Put it on top of the mountain, and then proclaim, proclaim it. Tell this on the mountain. It's kind of silly. All right, looking at the back here, let's take a look at the ports. You're going to like this as well. We've got four gigabit ports. Those are wired. Uh, there's your uh, WAN port. There's your LAN ports. WAN, LAN, the LAN, the WAN. And what's this? USB? That means you're going to be able to use a USB hard drive. This is really cool. You can take your standard USB 2.0 hard drive, no matter how big it is, or a flash drive, thumb drive, plug it into the back, and then it becomes a network hard drive. It's shared with all the computers on your network. So it's a great way to stream video content. Think of this. If you're someone who's always importing DVDs and save them onto a hard drive, save them onto the network hard drive. Then everybody that's on the network, whether it's wireless or whether it's a wired network using one of the gigabit ports, they're all going to have access to that. And you can stream multiple things at the same time. And wait, there's more. This is really cool. Wherever you go, you're going to be able to access your files through the internet because they're on the network. You just log on. Uh, to this router, it's very easy to do. You can do it from your laptop or whatever if you're in a hotel in Albuquerque, New Mexico, because no one lives there. They all travel there, though, right? I'm glad you're coming with me on that. While we're there, you can log on and check your files at home, listen to your movies, listen to your movies, listen to your music and watch your movies. So anyway, you can do all that with this router. And here's what's cool. If you're streaming from one place to the other all day long with all your different files, it's also dual band. Now, what does dual band mean? Well, let's talk about dual band for just a second. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of features in here, so you, know, you might want to be writing some of these down. Dual band means that it not only works at the 2.4 uh, gigahertz frequency range, it also works at the 5 gigahertz frequency, and it does it at the same time. Now, this is cool if you have some of the other uh, in ultra range, uh, the old range plus devices. Now, if you pick up maybe a maybe a wireless device for your laptop, they make this in the express card slots. They also make some internal devices and USB devices. Uh, that work with this as well. Now, if you have those, those all also work on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz at the same time as well. And with that, you can be streaming movies over the 5 gigahertz bandwidth, and you can be surfing the internet over the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth at the same time, and one's not going to interfere with the other. And the 5 gigahertz bandwidth, it's really fast. It's largely unused by any other applications in your house, so that means it's free. It's beautifully free. And it's great for anybody who's streaming multiple high definition signals from one computer to the other. So everybody in the house can be watching a movie at the same time while Bob is downstairs on the internet, checking his Gmail over and over and over again, waiting for whatever he's waiting for. You can all be doing that at the same time without any slowdown. Now it's wireless, so everybody wants to know about security. Well, you got WEP1 uh, or 128-bit, and you also have the 64-bit version. You also have WPA1 and 2. Uh, Eric, he's a... Uh, sort of a hacker in here. And he said that WPA2 has been very hard to, to hack. It's, it's hackable. I mean, let's, come on. There's nerds everywhere that can hack this stuff. But the cool thing is, is if, if you enable that with this unit, a lot of the guys who would want to come in and mess with your files, they're going to see that and they're going to be like, you know what, let's go look for an easier target. So that's, that's a cool feature. Uh, also, you can stand it upright if you like, or you can uh, leave, it, leave it flat. These things do go up like this. You know, however you like for your uh, consideration of your space. Uh, I really like the firmware that comes with these uh, routers. 
its top shape. There we go, that looks nice. Ooh, that looks really nice. And one more really cool thing about this, you can also use this as a uh, wireless access point, meaning it does not function as a router. You can turn this on and off. You can have one of these as your router, and then in the other room, maybe you've got some other devices in the other room, or put it in the TV area where you have a TiVo unit, an Xbox 360, a PlayStation 3, and a Wii. I know you guys are nerds, you have all that stuff. And this will catch the signal from the other router and act as almost a wired point, even though it's wireless. It'll basically put an invisible wire across your house, and then you can plug all those devices into this, and they'll all feed off the router that's in the other room. So that's what it means to be a wireless access point. And you can use this device to do that as well. Very, very, very cool device from Linksys, the N Ultra Range Plus. So many features that I almost uh, forgot who I was. I'll see you next time. For more information on the Linksys N Ultra Range Plus dual band wireless N router, go to compusa.com and type L48 1166 into the search box or call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1 800 CompUSA. Plug it into the bit. I'm speaking uh, Creole almost.